Ben Zinn for nextlevelguitar.com here and today we have something different for all you guys out there. We're going to be doing a little bit of lap steel and uh, talking about how we can transition some of our guitar knowledge onto the steel. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, before we continue, click on the link down here below in the YouTube text box. Click on that link and what we are going to do is send you a free video lesson and a coinciding ebook that's not available on YouTube. It's a great free additional information available only through nextlevelguitar.com. So click on the link and we'll continue on. All right, so the lap steel, a lot of fun to play and uh, it's an easier transition than you might think if you already play some guitar. Uh, it's got six strings. If you played some slide, there's some definitely some similar techniques involved. Uh, so I wanted to give just an overview of how you can uh, bring in some of your guitar licks and some of your guitar vocabulary and transfer it onto the steel. Uh, basically, like I said, we're dealing with a six string lap steel here. The tuning is a little bit different. Uh, my tuning on my lap steel is from low to high, C, E, G, A, C, E. So that makes a C6 tuning. There's all kinds of different options, just like for guitar and for open slide. You can tune to open D, open G, open E, open A, uh, whatever works for you. A lot of the principles and techniques are the same. And today, I just want to talk about how to achieve some, uh, like I said, of our guitar vocabulary, uh, some blues licks and that sort of thing, and uh, see how we can find them on the lap steel. Uh, if you're new to lap steel, you're going to play with a slide a little bit different than your traditional slide on the guitar. Uh, it doesn't go over the finger. Uh, it's just a metal bar that sits across the strings here. And you're going to manipulate it with your hand. You can see here, mine has a little spot for your index finger. And I'm going to control it with the rest of my fingers behind and my thumb here to guide across. Sometimes they're a little bit more of a straight tube. Uh, this one has a little bit more creases in it, um, and they're, they're a little bit heavier than a traditional guitar slide that you'd wear on your finger too. A little bit weightier, and you'll notice on the steel the action is a little bit higher than on a uh, guitar is typically. So um, a lot of the techniques are going to be the same. You're going to want to be hovering above what would be considered the fret wire, although there's not really actually any fret wire here we're just mainly looking at a, a marking. That's gonna help guide us uh, to provide uh, the correct intonation. So when I play a note on the steel, I wanna target my slide. If I'm targeting this line right here, that's gonna be the third fret. Even though there's not a fret, we'll just call it a fret because that's what we're used to as guitar players. And just like if you've played slide, you can shake that uh, bar back and forth to achieve some vibrato. So let's talk a little bit about uh, finding some familiar territory on our steel. Uh, as guitar players, we all know and love power chords. So to me, that's, that's the first place we're going to start. We want to be able to uh, find some fifth intervals or some power chord positions no matter what tuning we're in. If we're playing C6, uh, you can get some great power chord sounds out of strings six and four. And you can also get some really good power chord sounds out of strings two and four. So power chords, great place to start for uh, playing some riffs on the steel. And something that I did when I first started playing steel was I just took all of my blues and, and rock pentatonic licks and I worked out where they are on the steel. So 
uh, we're going to play some very familiar sounding examples. Uh, if you've been playing guitar and listening to guitar for some time, uh, I think you'll, you'll find these to be very familiar and all we're doing is just transitioning to the steel. So our next example So a very familiar bluesy sounding rock lick and you'll notice that uh, when I achieve those bends I'm not necessarily always moving my slide parallel sometimes I will change the angle of the slide and I like to think about this as the same way as if I'm bending a note on my guitar I'm bending the note up and the same sound is achieved through angling the bar and then returning it to a straight position to me, it sounds just like bending a note on the guitar, and that's what we're after today. And once again, another very familiar bluesy rock sounding lick that's transferred over to the steel. So continuing to add uh, from our vocabulary on the guitar, we can now start to string together a longer series of notes, much like we, we do in position and with some of our pentatonic scales on the guitar. And the same thing can be played in reverse. transfer some of our other favorite techniques from the guitar uh, like a hammer on pull off or a trill you know this whole thing when we're rapidly hammering on pulling off of a note we can adapt that technique for the steel as well uh, we'll just take an open string and we will strike the bar uh, with the bar rather we'll strike the string and just kind of bounce it on the string and we can create a nice trill sound <laughs> close it out that way. Uh, so hopefully this will, this will inspire uh, some of you guys out there to uh, pick it up. It's a lot of fun. I encourage you to check it out. Uh, and also encourage you to head over to nextlevelguitar.com. We have so much great content there for players of all skill levels, all styles, a lot of great stuff. So nextlevelguitar.com is the website. Thanks again for checking the video out today, and I'll see you guys next time.